Okay, so this video is more like a kind of, um, I've got five minutes, so um, I'm just going to do a quick update of stuff that I've been doing recently. I just copied um, Z0 Alpha. He's just made one of these, and you know, I kind of thought, uh, I'll give it a go. Um, basically, it's uh, wooden knuckles. Um, I cut two out. I mean, this one's like as rough as you like, um, but there's another one down there which I'll, I'll make smart. And basically, the tools I used to do that, I can't remember if he actually included what he sort of did, but uh, this is oak. Um, cut it out on the mitre saw split it because it came from that chunk down there and then I split it again so it was thin um, drilled it out with some of these and the trusty old B&Q special and then I drilled the holes through I gave them a file and a sand up and then cleaned it up on the I may have shown this before oh no I haven't you've seen this before if you're a subscriber um, this is the belt grinder and I have sort of yeah, it wasn't a belt grinder, it was a little linisher, but I've made a kind of table area up and it now takes two metre belts, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I gave it a clean up with that. Um, and then used the Dremel with... Mind you, they were kind of crap, they kept breaking on me. But I used the small little... Um, oh, there you go, there's one. The little drum sander to clean up the inside and then sandpaper and it's had a blob of the old Danish oil on it um, but yeah I mean it's nothing to write home about but yeah it does does what it's supposed to and be an oak it's hard as hell um, so just to let you know like I said I've got five minutes so I'll show you what I'm up to um, I've got a little skinner which is coming out pretty nicely uh, just needs a. I was going to drill a hole through there so that you've got a little, you know, little sort of finger hole there. Um, this one is a big cram bit. So obviously, that needs a hole drill in there. But I mean, that's going to be kind of. Yeah, that's going to be a beast when I get to finish that. Um, they're both in O1. They're really chunky, really nice and thick. Obviously, they need a lot of finishing up. Um, and I'm sure there was something uh, oh, I was doing oh, a long time ago I did this which was like a copy of the Cold Steel Spartan um, type handle sort of thing because I quite liked it and it does fit the hand really nice um, just needs handle and a good old polish and a clean up obviously everything's kind of like smothered in sawdust at the minute because I've just been cutting <coughs> Um, and, oh, the wrench, didn't, did I get anything over that? No, I didn't, I just gave it a clean up. Um, but that still needs a heat treat and finishing. But it's looking kind of nice. Um, the split there, I'm going to fill with solder. And then I think, I mean, it's strong anyway. But I think then when I'm done and it's all cleaned up and everything, you probably won't notice anyway. Um, and then that's going to a friend of mine. Yeah. Um, so that is all for now. Um, I hope to do some sort of, you know, I hope to show the heat treat of the wrench knife and stuff like that coming up soon. Um, and perhaps, because this one's kind of more roughly shaped, I may do some sort of follow along or something with this one. Uh, thanks and goodbye.